Hello Scorpio, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you click on the title when it intrigued you. Let's get started with your animal oracle. We've pulled three cards. This is the blackbird that is calling you to go within it, it, your soul, your calling, your path. It's it's like, look at me over here. This is the part of your soul that you're needing to reflect on. And for a, a healing, this is a very, very healing card. One that's gentle, nurturing, helping you through that, those shades of gray and dark. And there is a, like a lifting of emotions trying to be surfaced or there perhaps this blackbird is telling you you know it's okay Scorpio these emotions are trying to rise to the surface and they are becoming very turbulent hard to control this blackbird is saying this is okay retreat do some soul work some spiritual work to help balance these energies these emotions to put them into perspective we have someone around you that is taking on the cat energy. This is one that is both physical and spiritual, logical and um, monetary even. Very quiet. They're observing you. They're watching what you're, these emotions you're going through without judgment. They are very, this can be a very healing energy uh, there to support you. But they're not doing anything. They're just observing. They do not want to step in the way of your growth. But there is a sense of being there when you need them. Your fairy oracles, spirit dancer. So you are heeding the call of the blackbird, taking your walk, dancing your way through it. And we have the sage. So we have someone around you who is uh, why is this could be you Scorpio taking on this energy of this wisdom of the sage but this does remind me of earth energy this wisdom again they're just watching you perhaps you have someone praying for you Scorpio there when you need them could be a parent family member a friend let's get on with the tarot portion of your reading and we're going to start with cutting this deck first Tree of fire, your ship's coming in. Something that you can be excited about because you just jumped in the boat to dock it. Two of Earth, this could be about decisions. It's also about multitasking and being able to balance. So maybe with these energies that are trying to surface with those, uh, that dragon of the water, trying to surface emotions, you're balancing them. This could be you going into retreat saying, okay, until I get a handle on what, what I'm feeling, I'm just going to go within and do your own balancing act spiritually. Could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be taking on these energies. Could be a mother figure in your life that is nurturing you. It's a friend. Uh, but this is not just nurturing. This is about uh, organizing, getting your thoughts sorted out getting all your ducks in a row, getting that balance and knowing how to handle your money. The emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries, but not necessarily. This is uh, someone who embodies all four kings, not necessarily male or female, uh, but they know how to run their empire. They are ready to battle, to protect it at any moment. They're looking at you, um, and wanting to merge, wanting to build, continue building this empire with you. They could be stubborn, a bit controlling. You need to make a decision about something, whether to continue with this emperor or maybe there's someone else. Maybe it's two jobs, two places that you want to move to, like picking between two locations to live. Three of Earth, this is a collaboration, working together. You're looking ahead into the future. So if I work with this person, which person or job 
or home will be most productive for me. So you're in hangman mode, but you are becoming enlightened, looking at things from different perspectives. In other cards, it's just around the head. But you, this is just embodying all of you. It's you're, When you come off of that tree, you're going to be bouncing. Justice. This is about karma. It could be about court cases, which are going in your favor. We have the number 11, so it could be dealing with a soulmate and karmic justice, perhaps someone that you were involved with that you had to deal with karma. This does not necessarily mean that they were not your soulmate or true love, but you had to deal with some karma. And so did they. You want karmic justice. You want the scales to balance because there was a deception, a broken heart. You weren't put first. You were put at the end of the line for priority. Or this person uh, had two parties on the go. Seven of Earth. You uh, cultivated, planted these seeds, wondering if you'll ever have a harvest or should you just walk away from it? A very painful experience. Ace of Earth, you have a new beginning that the universe is offering you. It has not left you destitute. It is offering you a new beginning to bring you stability. I'm seeing Earth here, so there's a lot of stability trying to come in for you. And one that will bring in uh, good money as well. Taking a leap of faith. Wanting to take a leap of faith. This is the zero point gravity card. Zero point field. The magic of magic. The number that Pythagoras murdered over to keep secret. This magic. You are tapping into it. And ready to make a leap of faith in one direction or the other. Whatever this decision is, you are moving to calmer waters. So let's clarify this. With our clarifying deck. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. You're moving towards that Ten of Cups, Scorpio. Whatever you've been working through, that blackbird calling, saying, come on, come within, do a retreat, let's talk. And this energy that's around you that's healing, it doesn't necessarily even have to be a person. But this is sage wisdom, ancestral wisdom, unjudgmental wisdom. So for the two of earth, you want to balance and make a decision. And you've got some hopes, dreams, wishes that you want fulfilled. So this is what's a factor in this decision process. There is healing as well in the embodiment of this energy. Queen of Earth, Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with two people, not necessarily male or female. One is fire, one is earth possibly, or these are the energies they're taking on. This could be you taking on this energy, Scorpio, an energy of being grounded, practical, and passionate getting things done the emperor is going to be clarified by the prince of cups this emperor is coming in to make an offer of love he wants you in his life or her life the lovers you're being divinely guided together you need to make a decision between two people perhaps here or maybe this person had to make a decision between two people and chose you Three of Earth, yeah, you're looking out into the future. There's going to be collaboration, working together, and it's moving very quickly towards you. You could be going on a trip. Someone's coming towards you on a trip, but you are moving quickly forward. The hangman, yeah, the king of pentacles. Perhaps it's an earth sign that has been waiting, slow, all about himself, herself, self-centered, just thinking about their pentacles. Uh, too practical to get emotionally involved. It looks like maybe they're the ones that are in hangman's mode. Saying, maybe I need to look at this a bit a different way. Judgment. Wow, justice. This person is coming back. There is going to be a judgment here. A judgment call. And karma is playing a big role in it. Three of air. Could be if this person left you for another person. They're going to see you with another person and it's just going to be like a kick in the butt or that person's going to leave them for another person. This is you working hard on yourself. This was a painful situation that ended. So you're just focusing on you, healing yourself, working on your pentacles, 
and being focused on that just to keep your mind mind occupied seven of earth are you going to have a harvest well it does look like a celebration it could be that three-party situation as well will you have a harvest will they choose you if there's a choice to be made on that other person's part they're choosing you ace of earth is clarified with the ace of earth or pentacles this brand new beginning is going to bring wealth scorpio stability groundedness a feeling of contentment the feeling that everything's going to be okay that leap of faith came out of temperance healing protection guidance the gold at the end of the rainbow making the impossible possible and this is archangel michael watching over you saying go ahead jump scorpio i got your back moving to calmer waters yeah you're facing that devil energy you're going to retreat and have a good look at your dark self and deal with it i'm going to take this over to the extended reading at the website if any of this resonates for you scorpio you can ask me a question underneath of the extended reading in the comments and i'll pull you a card to help personalize it for you the cost of the extended readings are only ten dollars but it gives you access to all the zodiacs and all the afternoon delight readings uh, that are extended for a month so make some popcorn come and join us and hopefully we'll see you over there. God bless. Bye for now.